As you're teaching with Chromebooks, one of the things that's going to be most frustrating to you every once in a while is when students come in have, having forgotten their passwords. In the past, this would have been a big deal, but right now, but for now, we've got Hapara Teacher Dashboard, which allows you, as the teacher, to reset any password of any student in your classroom. You notice I've got my sample class open here with my four students in it. And uh, to change that password, the first thing I need to do is click on the Class Info tab. So I'll click up there, bring up my Class Info window. Up in the upper right-hand corner are where I begin to set up what I want to do for the password I would like to change to. By default, Hapara uh, puts the word thank you in there. It's OK. It's eight characters, which if you look below is the minimum that it has to be. But you all know that a good password should probably have a little bit more in there, at least a few capitals. And um, as we try to get people to think in terms of passphrases versus just passwords, you can model that for kids. So I'm just going to go in here and type in green leaves for the password. Remember, no spaces. You can't have that. And then what I'm going to do is check this force reset on login. So the student will be able to use this password one time First time he uses it successfully, she'll be required to uh, change that password right away. So you might want to warn them ahead of time that that's going to happen. So once you've done that, what we do is we just come over here and find the student who is struggling. And Jerry's having a hard time with his password today, so we're going to click on Reset Password. We'll say yes, we definitely want to do that. Let me pull this in so you can see it. And uh, this can take, uh, oh gosh, I've seen it take 30 seconds and sometimes it'll take just a few seconds. It just depends on how busy the system is. So there you go. It's reset. So now the next time Jerry logs in, he uses the password green leaves, the capital G, a capital L, and he will be 100% successful back online. You can see you can have them up and running in seconds versus, uh, you know, a help desk request that might take uh, an hour depending how long, how busy people are in the help desk. And hey, we got one more real leave quick suggestion or the little tip that you can use in Hapara that we've just added. If you'll notice there's two buttons at the bottom of the class student list and the one that you'll want to use more often is the remove selected students especially during this time of year when we're uh, adjusting schedules so often and each day you might have a student, a new student in and an old student out. What you can do is you can just select kit students uh, and then click this Remove Selected Students button, uh, follow the dialog prompts, and that will actually remove those kids from your uh, Apara Teacher Dashboard view, cleaning up your classroom, making it a lot easier to find those documents that you really want to work with the kids that you actually have in your class. It's a great little feature. Hope this helps you. Uh, a few more tips and tricks to make your life easier.